Hey y'all, it's week 18. We made it y'all. This was such an eye-opening 18 weeks. Literally the best gift that I could give myself for my 31st birthday. Happy birthday to you was to transform my mind, my body, and just, oh my gosh, y'all. I got my notes, so you know what's going down, but before we get into that, I wanna tell you this entire journey, what I learned and where I'm going, but first, let's pause and get into this weight. So I started at 191 pounds at the beginning of this 18-week series, and let's see where I am now. And 57 pounds y'all I know my goal was 150 pounds but to me I did it come on. and if you've been working with me give yourself a pat on the back too come on y'all come on I hit my goal if you look at my body now I was never I threw out a number just to have a number out there but I feel satisfied with what I did with how hard I worked the hardest part of this entire process was editing these YouTube videos y'all If you want to become a YouTuber, just know this is not for the week, but I did it for a good cause and I don't regret it. So let's dig into everything. It's still hot in Arizona, but I did wear this real quick so y'all could see. Because y'all remember this outfit. Ever been this active on YouTube that I'm about to be right now? Because let me tell you what I'm going to do. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me. Uh huh. Uh huh. I had to, in spirits of starting in the car, wearing my sweater, I just try to do all those things, y'all. I try to keep the guns away, but you know what I mean? Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Even with my scars that I've been talking about. Okay. So let's break down what I did. And if you're new here, hey girl, start from the beginning. But if this is the video you choose to watch out of all of them, I'll take it. Let me get my notes, y'all. So I started off week one through six, going to the gym three to four times a week. I was meal planning, doing protein shakes, and in a calorie deficit, okay? Week seven changes everything, okay? So starting week seven, I started to maximize the volume in my meals, and I started to do more about protein, complex carbs, and fats. So if you look at week seven, I break all that down, right? Okay, week 15, for the first time, I started to eat red meat. I did more carnivore style. I got my blood work done and I stopped taking any protein supplements. The only protein supplements I was taking was protein drinks, but I lied to you not. I feel like I got A plus results without protein supplements in the natural way of protein. Like that blew my mind on my journey. You have to understand, before this 18 weeks, I was 300 pounds and I was already on a journey, right? So this was just furthering my knowledge. This was just like spiritually adding that in here too. It was a lot. And to be honest, I was psyched out at the fact that in a calorie deficit, I'm trying to eat 2,000 or 1,400 calories a day. When you eat steak, one steak is like a thousand something calories, but I was losing weight, feeling satisfied, getting muscle. Come on, somebody. Oh, hey, okay. Another thing that amazed me is I went to the doctor twice on this journey. Well, three times, if you know about my immune system situation, I went to the doctor to find out my blood type, but more importantly, I went to the doctor like, what are these vitamins I need to be taking? What are the things I need to be doing? Like, I was so excited to learn about that. And when I learned that natural proteins and everything that we need is already in the earth, um, that blew my mind. Cause you see so many fitness influencers taking so many supplements of protein, um, taking vitamins and doing all this stuff. And you're like, I'm missing out. I need to do this and this and that. And for him to say, just study natural foods and what that gives you 
and where what benefit was eat clean you'll be good i was like what so i was really excited about that y'all throughout this journey i have had to learn to love myself on a whole different level because you lose the weight and you don't understand that there's a whole nother series your skin is different now it's a lot of people at this point start getting skin removed start getting boob jobs start getting stuff reconstructed but i'm just like no lord i just want to love the changes i want help me to love that and throughout the series even my skin like how i'm flexing like this i just don't care because like you know autoimmune stuff happens stuff happens in your life and you just got to take this serenity prayer and be like okay lord hmm what can i share what can i control what can't give me the wisdom and the difference yeah let's get into this weight chart i am so happy that i broke down all sets of the six weeks so that you guys can see when you do it natural is going to take time body recomposition is going to happen and you're going to look good weight is not the key i feel like a lot of people right now are trying other methods and quick fast stuff but the muscle goes away like they're suffering in other ways when you try to just get to the lowest weight as possible, not understanding that a hundred, like I was feeling good at 160 pounds. I'm not gonna hold you. I was, and I was staying there for a while. Like my body stalled in each one. Like I was in the 180s for a while, 170s for a while, 160s. But I feel like I started to look really good at about like 170, 175. Like I was like, okay okay so it's not about the number it ain't nothing but a number okay i don't know why that's in my head as you go on your journey understand that fast and easy is not the way to go slow and steady wins the race because you can maintain it it becomes it becomes something you don't have to stress about because you like you work to get there and the work that you did doesn't disappear when you're working to make that a part of your lifestyle you know so the biggest thing this is probably the second the intro was short and this is the ending is gonna be kind of short too because I learned so much about food and that brings us to what I want to do next okay y'all so next y'all oh my gosh I struggle so much with the editing that is like the hardest part of this so i could not wait i was like lord please let me hurry up and get to this 18 weeks so i can end this series and then i felt like god was telling me okay because i was asking lord what do i do next where am i gonna go next and just like minister to your people because working out is a part of your worship it's a part of your ministry you know and i was like what am i gonna do next lord and God was like, okay, now document 75 hard. Ow! I was like, Lord, are you sure? And he was like, yeah. You can read the Bible in 10 weeks with your sisters. You can show, it doesn't even have to be about weight. Yes, I will look amazing at the end, but you trained your muscles, but now it's time to train your spirit. So do 75 hard make it more of like a quiet vlog where you're like reading the bible and they're just seeing as you grow spiritually and i was like wow and i'm not gonna lie at first i was like dang but you know what god wants for me i want for myself okay come on somebody so if i can even help one person in that way that's what i'm gonna do so i don't know when but i know soon because when god says move when he move i move just like that oh no let's let's do another one where you go i'll go y'all know the song well you when you move i'll move I will follow you, yeah. I don't even know what song that is. But anyway, some type of worship song. That's what I'm going to do next, y'all. It's time to train up these spiritual muscles too. And to focus in on connecting the word to our journey, you know? 
So that's what's next. And during that 75 hard, I am also going to pursue my becoming a nutritionist and a personal trainer. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so exciting things are coming, y'all. And it can be overwhelming because I'm like, whoa. But nothing is overwhelming when you realize that God is the anchor. If he say something, then I know he's going to pull me through it. So editing is stressful. Putting all your time into hours of content, turning it into 30 minutes. Like all of that is a lot. But I just, I just, I want y'all to be able to maintain it. And it helps me too. Like this community is not one way. Like y'all comments, the, the Facebook group, me seeing your journeys too. Like you breathe life into me just as much as I do to you. Iron, iron sharpening iron is what we're doing here. And my goal is to see you win. I don't want you to go through the things I went through where I lost a bunch of weight and then gained a bunch of weight, got back to 200 something, and then started the 18 week journey at 191 pounds after I had already lost and got down to 170. Like, I don't want you to struggle that way. I want you to make it a lifestyle and to see the beauty in learning these new things. And a lot of people will say like, I don't like fad diets. I don't like stuff like that. But y'all, I learned so much by trying carnivore, by trying um, fasting, by doing um, like, I've done the 72 hour water thing before for just focus and clarity and just all kinds of stuff. But y'all, so I just wanna end it off by saying thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for pushing me. Thank you for your love. Thank you for, if you did it with me, thank you for pushing yourself and for wanting better. And if you clicked on this for the first time and it's just because you wanna see yourself win and get to this point or a better point, mm -hmm. pat yourself on the back, girl. You already one step ahead of what you was yesterday. Come on, looking and, and, and trying to plan for yourself. I'm proud of you. So yeah, I love y'all and to be continued. <laughs> Babe, why did I come in here? And I was like, like, Wait a second. Am I getting buff as crap? Then I had to take the thing off. Like, wait a second. Look, I had to take it off. Like, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, sorry. I'm like, wait a second.